This is the free motion quilting tutorial for cubic ripples. This video is a part of the free motion quilting project created by Leah Day. So far over 300 designs have been published to this project for free with video tutorials just like this one. Check out the other designs and share them with your friends at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to cubic ripples. This design is stitched by first starting with a cluster of cubes or simply square shapes. You just want to stack these together to create kind of a little uh, cluster of them. You don't want all of the edges to be all straight and perfect. You want them to be actually very jagged so that you have nice uh, variety of shapes all kind of clustered together. This is going to add more texture and interest to the design, make it stand out a little bit better and make it a little bit more interesting on the surface of your quilt. Now the second part of the design is simply to travel stitch and echo that little cluster of cubes. So I'm just carefully stitching around it and keeping that line rather straight. You know, cubes are, these squares are straight lines and sharp angles, so you want your echo to be straight lines and sharp angles too. This design is a variation of pebble ripples. So if you want a simpler version of the design, check out that design because that one is created with circular shapes and it's a little easier to stitch. Straight lines and sharp angles can be a challenge if you're not used to stitching them. But they really create a very interesting design on the surface of your quilt. I love this texture and I think it's going to look really good when you combine it with flowing designs. with. Uh, really beautiful flowing appliques, um, flower shapes, that kind of thing. Uh, the contrast and textures of straight lines with flowing lines is really amazing and it's going to be something that I really hope you play with just to see what it'll look like on the surface of your quilt. Now just like pebble ripples I think this is de design is going to work best on a smaller scale. It's just going to look better on a smaller scale. However, if you want to try it on a bed quilt, simply make sure that your squares are around two inches or bigger and then the lines between your echo quilting, you have at least about an inch of space between those lines. That way the quilt is not going to be too stiff and it'll still create a beautiful texture on the surface. Now we're going to kind of fast forward here towards the end of this design and you can see what it looks like whenever you've stitched out a good section of it. You can see this amazing texture on the surface of the quilt. It really is beautiful and this is going to stand out so nicely because of the large amount of travel stitching around each of those squares. If you find that you're struggling to travel stitch consistently, if your thread is breaking or shredding, try switching to a thinner, stronger thread. In all of my videos I'm using Isocord polyester embroidery thread. This is a very thin, very fine polyester and it works wonderfully for this type of stitching. Now I'm going to just fill in this last little corner and you can see things get really tight but as long as you keep it consistent, stitch a little bit of squares and then echo quilt that with your very straight line sharp angled echo, it should look fine. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish Cubic Ripples. Are you interested in learning more about free motion quilting? Make sure to check out the Free Motion Quilting Project and find over 300 video tutorials just like this one. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.